Juan Dills survived the disaster but lost his home. It's normal for weather to be like this. You know, we're all going to stick together and everything will work out. The tornado that carved a path of destruction through Moore took at least 24 lives. The winds were clocked at 400 kilometers per hour. Oh my God! The only way residents could be sure of survival was to wait in underground shelters or steel and concrete modules called safe rooms. But at two public schools destroyed by Monday's tornado, no such shelter was available. Leslie Chapman Henderson is CEO of a nonprofit group called the Federal Alliance for Safe Homes. She's an advocate of tornado safe rooms. The safe room is an interior room of the home that's been reinforced um, and tested and certified to withstand uh, high wind and debris impacts of the type that uh, we've just seen happen in more Oklahoma. A safe room can be retrofitted into a closet, bathroom, laundry room, or garage, or set below ground. When more resident Sky Strohall saw the tornado coming, he ran with a friend to a neighbor's underground shelter with only minutes to spare. We tried to open that cellar and it was locked by, the, by a chain, and then they let us in. And then shortly after that, it was, it was on top of us. Chapman Henderson says forecasts are giving people like Strohall more time to react. She says while tornado building codes exist so structures can survive heavy winds, they're not widely enforced. And only 10 percent of the homes and more have safe rooms. Moore is located in a central U.S. region called Tornado Alley, where these storms are frequent. You will see the top of them right there. In 1999 and again in 2003, tornadoes took similar routes through the town. But Chapman Henderson says memories fade. Neither of the two elementary schools demolished this week had safe rooms, which could have saved the nine children who died at one of the schools. I think we need to focus on our schools and we need to set a minimum standard of always having a shelter and safe room option for students. What we've learned here tragically is that's the most important investment that we can make. As the residents of Moore prepare to rebuild, the town is considering an ordinance to make safe rooms mandatory in all new construction. Roseanne Skirbel, VOA News, Washington.